But it's time to evolve the rock! The salt is growing! People take down Christmas lights? I bet, let's see. I bet Minecraft, what are you gonna turn into? Transformer! Salt former! Wow. That is so stupid. 10 out of 10. Garganel will rub its fingertips together and sprinkle injured Pokemon with salt. That sounds mean. Oh, even yeah, severe yeah. wounds will promptly heal afterward. Okay, so it's a salt healer, beach. I'm back at school. I have classes to go to. Hello, hello. I hope everyone is ready to learn some new things today. I just, I just aced your exam, dipshit. Y'all did really great on the midterm exam. Thank you. Do, do his eyebrows not not look like someone drew them on with a really big sharpie? All right, we're now heading into the last half of our classes together. It's time for our knowledge to evolve and grow, just like our Pokemon. Evolution, yep. Ha <laughs> ha. Evolution. Today we're going to learn about the fascinating phenomenon of Pokemon evolution. He drew them on himself. As your Pokemon battle and level up, they learn moves and get stronger. I like, I like that like they're insincerely like leveling up as a thing, and I'm just sitting here like, level up where? But some people prefer to keep their Pokemon in their pre, adorable pre-evolved states. Me, me, I am the person that likes to do that. Me. To do this, you just need to remember a certain bottom when your Pokemon begins to evolve. B. We cancel evolution. Press the B button. Me, because I hate the second and third evolutions for a lot of these dipsticks. They look. But the button you want when you need to stop a Pokemon from evolving is the B button. Fun fact, I literally did not let my, uh, uh, what would you call it, Alolan Meowth evolve ever because the Alolan Persian looks so stupid that I could not fathom having, having something that dumb looking in my party. The way Primeape evolves into Analave is especially strange. There's a certain move that... Oh, I need to learn something. But the stats, Lily, fuck the stats. I just have to level it up forever and the stats will increase organically. Whoops, sorry, it looks like we're out of time. I wanted to learn! I guess we'll all head to your classroom today. Bye. He looks like he was animated using the Garfield art style, because he was. I want to go to math. I'm going to go fight your sister. And the Alolan Meowth is so cute. Why on Gaia's ever-loving tits? Would I want to evolve something that cute into something that looks like a balloon with legs? I no, no, no. Hello everyone, well done on the midterm exam. Some of you earned perfect scores, and others seem to have a bit of trouble. But I can tell me. Oh wait, no history. No, I can tell that y'all tried your best. I am quite pleased to say that every last one of you passed. Could you imagine if someone was like, "Hey, this dumb fuck did it"? I can only assume that this means you all have come to love numbers. No. Speaking of staying sharp, do you know how the world applies to Pokemon battles? Oh no. That's right, it has to do with stat boost! A Pokemon's stats can rise and fall throughout the course of battle, correct? They can? They can? What do you- What? If a Pokemon uses the moves to work up, its attack and XP attacks will rise by on one stage each. And, as you may know, each time a Pokemon's attack or special attack rises on the stage, one stage moves affected by that will deal 50% more damage. If that same Pokemon from our previous example were to work up again, both its attack and special attack will reason by two stages total. This results in a 100% damage to That seems, like, unfair. Sword Dance, on the other hand, boosts attacks by two stages at once, allowing the Pokemon to deal double damage after single use. That seems OP. Lily, please- WHAT?! WHAT?! Why am I getting yelled at? Why is chat yelling at me?! Those moves are for fucking dipshit babies. I want offense baby power! How much more damage then would this Pokemon deal? Like 200 double damage? Oh wait, no. Quadruple damage. Ah, yes. The question is a tricky one. Just because the boost Pokemon on spats by four stages doesn't mean the damage is quadrupled. Each stage of the Pokemon attack or speed attack raises is raised and increases its damage by 50%. Being raised four stages will result in a four times tricked me! Lily, your brain is smoother than a baby's bottom. Sabes que? Sabes que? No va a dejar que me insulten en mi propia casa. You are going to the baby shadow realm for fucking dissing me in my own goddamn house. My brain is more wrinkly than 50 of yours, okay, beach? Fuck off. I don't know 
attack things. I want my moves to do shit, not raise or lower stats. I don't give a rat's ass. I am looking for power! Oh my, is that the bell? I suppose that's all for now. What a shame. Today's lesson was a little difficult, so be sure to review what you learned in order to stay sharp. No mames, todos los ardijas son mexicanos en Estados Unidos. ¡Estoy en el DF! It's one thing to not use these moves, it's another to not know what exists. Bitch, I don't care. I don't read shit. I want my Pokemon to throw shit at each other. Lily could never make a competitive team. Yes. I would never make a competitive team. It's above my fucking pay grade. Guys, remember I didn't start playing Pokemon uh, until I was like 24. However, I imagine your ability to concentrate has been spectacularly derailed by my midterm. You had the only midterm that I didn't ace 100%. You had like five years to adapt. I only just started playing video games more often now. I'm a very, I was a very busy bean. When Kiki Mation first got started, I pulled 14-hour workdays constantly. So allow me to tell you an old fairy tale that has been passed down through in Paldea for generations. I would make a competitive team just because of aesthetics and things I liked, and by sheer dumb luck, I would annihilate all of you. Once upon a time, there was a king who very much enjoyed collecting treasure. He was particularly fond of treasures from other countries. One day, a merchant from the east heard rumors of this king and came to meet him. The merchant laid out four treasures in front of the treasure-loving king. The four treasures were as follows. A vessel, a sword, a set of tablets, and a set of beads. Ain't no beads? Aha! Perfect timing to make eye contact, young, Ju young Juliana. I'm not looking at your eyes. I'm looking straight at those tits! Answer me this. I said that one of the treasures was a set of tablets. What do you think these tablets were? I'm guessing wooden planks for writing on? Correct! Your daily pursuit of knowledge serves you well. These particular tablets were wooden and used as a writing medium in the East in ancient times. As you may know, they fell out of popular use as paper became more universally available, and now phones. I haven't touched a piece of paper in a long time. For the king to consider these ta paper substance treasures, they must have been of superb quality. That, or perhaps they had some amazingly profound teachings written on them. So the king obtained these four treasures on that very night. It said that a terrible disaster rained down upon his castle, reducing it to rubble by dawn. Oh, oh is that the time already? I wasn't done with my story, but alas, so ends today's lesson. If you're interested in how the story ends, you may come to see me outside class hours. Me! I would like to go with Mr. Salvatore. I mean, let me prep the hojo. I haven't given permission by JC to pass on a message skill issue. Is it really a skill issue if I didn't know about it? I mean, I knew that there were moves that did things. I just didn't know that that was what they did. How did you like the midterm exam? You all did really great. We are halfway there, and now time for another lesson. If the, if vous prêt, are you ready? Oui, bitch. Très bonne réponse. Great answer. Merci, my friends. I knew I could count on your star on your stars. Leading up to the midterm, we learned all sorts of words from different regions. Starting today, though, I will be throwing a curveball for when we begin listening comprehension. Ah, I hated this shit in fucking school. Vazi, go for it, my assistant. Pika P, Pikachu. Una rata! Pikachu. As you just heard, Pokemon can also use words to communicate. The same Pokemon phrase may sound different depending on what it wants to say. I'm sure you're curious, so aujourd'hui, today, that is, let's learn some Pokemon language. I no quiero. Je t'en prie, if you would be so kind, Pikachu. Pika! What emotion do you suppose Pikachu was trying to convey just now? I don't know, man. I hate it when they spoke in the anime. Pikachu, why won't you get in your Pokeball? I was fucking afraid of my wiener. Uh, Pika is like... Bitch, say it again. What is that? I'm gonna guess it was, like, happy? Oh, bitch! Ori, Juliana, that's not right. Pokemon language is hard, isn't it? When Pikachu says... It is using its angry voice. I'll give you my fucking angry voice, you piece of shit. That's right, I had my little Pikachu friend here pretend to be angry for us. How do you know it's not angry for real? Don't you think he did a great job? Give Pikachu a round of applause, everyone. Fuck you, rat. It was smiling! They always smile. The same Pokemon can even communicate its feelings in many different ways. Their voices change depending on their mood and physical condition. 
by listening more carefully to Pokémon. You may gain a deeper understanding of them. No. Well, adios, matne. A la prochaine. See you later, everyone. Bye, bitch. Imagine your French teacher coming into class with a dog and giving you a failing grade because you didn't know what it was saying. That's exactly what happened! Oh, damn dog. Oh, so sup, losers. Y'all gave everything you had on the midterm exams. Well done. I'm sad that we couldn't roll around in the mud. Have y'all been using the R button to send out your Pokemon? I have mine right here, dipshits. Let me show you how to do it. It's easy. I can't wait 10 years from now when I have to make like a goddamn fighter balloon into a fucking sexy lady. Whoops, I just about did a whole class uh, as a one-sided lecture. Does anyone have any questions so far? Not like you not not like you should. I'm such a good fucking teacher. No, I have I have no questions. Great, you're all really good at this. You better fucking be. I can't wait to see why, where you go from here. In conclusion, dipshits! Adult battles only work if a trainer and their Pokemon have a relationship of mutual trust. Be smart with how you use auto battles so you don't lose the trust, the trust of your Pokemon. Ah, man, I was just about to suggest we do some hands-on practice really to really drive the point homes. But Game Freak devs have only seven people in their office and we're never gonna be able to do that. Class is over for now, losers! Take care, you little dipshits. Game Freak needs a break from the crunch. Game Freak needs to hire more employees. It's 169 employees. That's not nearly enough. It's five excluding the janitor. <laughs> Hello class, it is I, Hassle. Yet again, you're a hassle. As a reward for all your hard work, we have a special guest visiting us today. Now then, Brace, please come in. Greetings. Oh shit, it's Hubert! I am Brassius, I'm an artist. And I focus exclusively on grass-type Pokemon for my work. I already beat you! Brassius here mainly creates three-dimensional pieces, such as statues and the like. One of his major works is in the, is in the installation titled Surrendering Sun Flora, found in Artason, the place with the three frames a second windmill. Many of you who have challenged the Artason gym are no doubt familiar with these sculptures. Yes, I do recognize some faces among your students. I hope you all understand how fortunate you are to be able to attend Hass's classes. Old Hass is the man who saved me when I had lost all hope and given up on myself. He never gave up on me. I do not exaggerate when I say that he is my mentor in life. Aww. It is precisely thanks to Hass that I was able to establish my current art style. I was able to establish my current art style because Booba. My muse is tits. Ah, dear Braze. I have nothing about, against reminiscing about old times, but today I hope you will glide, uh, guide this class in a way, in a way only you can. Of course. Let's see. Ah, uh, why don't we discuss what Hass mentioned? Surrendering some flora. Could anyone here tell what my mood was when I crafted this detached expression? You were not in a good mood. That's sad. No, no, no! Completely and utterly wrong, huh? When I made that sculpture, I had surrendered all hope. I was prepared to give up everything. I had resolved to give my, up my life as an artist if that piece did not receive proper recognition. Cloud Goblin! Hence the name Surrendering Sun Flora. That's exactly it, Hass. He's one of those. When I started out as an artist, I experienced many hardships. I even became deathly ill. And I fell into a slump that drove me to desperation. I began worrying about only what would sell. I was concerned only with fame and fortune. Cloud Goblin. All of my pieces during this time had no depth. They were all shallow trash. That is why, children, repeat after me. You make art because you want to. Not because you think it's going to be popular or whatever. It was then that I met Haz. He helped me realize how pretty, how petty I was being. I'll spare you the details. But in the end, I was able to leave that behind. And that is what, also when I crafted the Sun Flora. Remarkable. Even I did not know the full story until now. The kind of thing is hard to tell someone, especially when they are close to you. But what were you feeling, dipstick? Now, I don't doubt that you adolescents will often find your heads crowded with worries. My advice to you is simple. Be honest with yourself and do whatever your heart desires. So long as you don't cause trouble, that is. No promises. That's all. That is all for me. I must have been there beginning to feel embarrassed, so I bid you farewell, Hass. I'm out, he says. Farewell to your pupils as well. Oh, Braids, I can't believe it. Such a wonderful class. Thank- Oh, he's crying! 
Thank you so much! <laughs> Thor. Here, that Lily Lance wants something a bit boobier. Got you got I got it. I got you, boo. Hey, it's my favorite class! Put away phones or I break them. It's time to begin class. So some of you had to retake midterm exam multiple times. I glare at you, person who failed. I am glad to say that the majority of class passed without issue. Well done, children. I feel honored to see knowledge and skills indispensable for daily life have taken root in all of you little heads. Let us turn attention to the topic of day, which was inspired by a question I received on the subject of meal powers. Student who asked this question is a John man who enjoys the culinary arts. It is a uh, husband. It is Arben. He tells me that he regularly researches culinary techniques on his own and pays careful attention to ingredients he uses. He also spends day and night studying aspects of culinary arts. Yet, despite this, he is baffled by his inability to increase effectiveness of meal powers. He failed my, meal, my midterm children. Tell me, Miss Juliana, since you did quite well on your midterm exam, what should our... Uh, this young man who failed my test do to increase effectiveness of meal powers. Arvin? Uh, I mean, I've gotten every single one of these. Arvin? I'm using the purple answer. <coughs> I cannot disclose identity of certain male student who enjoys culinary arts and failed my meal term. Certain male student, but it may well be Arvin, but it may not be. Sub I didn't see you in the front there. To increase effectiveness of meal power, your sandwiches must be filled with many different ingredients. I made a party cheese salad sandwich. I can attest to its effectiveness. With large base to start with, it becomes quite simple to add more ingredients to your sandwich. Make the bread large and strong. This applies more broadly as well. When dealing with difficult issue, working with others to solve issue may be best course of action. Do you hear that, Arvin? I am sure that Arvin would like us work with friends to craft his sandwiches in future. Oh, te balconio. Uh -huh. The identity of male student is private. Private? I would ask you do not ask Arvin any questions. It's private. Our time together has ended for today. Goodbye. You may use your phones. I shall not eat them. Saguaro is my favorite fucking uh, character in this game. I love Arvin so much. I'm just going to go up to him with a giant bread and bonk him with it. Just baguette, bitch. <laughs> Let's go talk to some dipshits. Dendro, what are you doing in the nurse's office? I just finished the whole decks. What is wrong with you people? <gasps> Yay! No way, no way, no way! Come on, Miriam, just try it. Miss Dendra. Oh, great timing, new kid. has up, dipshit. Nurse Miriam here won't try the sandwich I made. No. Well, duh, I don't want to get a stomach ache. Look at her little heels, it's so cute! You won't, probably. Um, I still remember that sandwich you made me with meat filling and meat for bread. That one really messed me up bad. I was on keto. I hadn't trained in the art of sandwich making yet back then. I was young and thoughtless and that was two months ago. Young and thoughtless? It was last month! So, as you can see, I'm not getting anywhere trying to persuade her. Even after I went through that intensive sandwich making training, it kind of makes me sad. Uh, she went through intensive sandwich making training? She worked really hard on it. Three some, let's go. Later. Ugh. I guess I have no choice if you've got one of your cute little students on your side. So fine, I'll try your sandwich. Let's see it. Yes! I knew you'd come around. Here it is. Her little heels are amazing. It's a little strongly flavored, but I guess it's not bad. You're learning! Woohoo! My training paid off! I'm so glad my son just pleases the great nurse Miriam. Oh, they're totally bolding on the side. I look up to you, you know. Thank you for trying it, and thanks to you too, new kid. I can't bother to learn your name. And she's run off again. That was weird. But that's just how Miss Dendra is, I guess. She's always coming into the nurse's office with some injury or another, too. They're friends, though! 
Okay, like, can we can we just talk about how adorable Miriam's outfit is? I can sleep in the nurse's office. Miriam is adorable. I hope you guys like my voice for her. It's a little valley girl, but I'm working on it. Oh, you guys are different things. Uh, great ass and jeans first. Why if it isn't Juliana from class 1A? Are you perhaps interested in the rest of the old tale I told you in class? Yes. I'm also very interested in your waistline. That's insane. <laughs> it, it is convenient that you would take the bait I present in class. A vessel, a sword, a set of tablets, and a set of beads. After obtaining these four treasures, the king's castle was destroyed. Why, do you ask? Because these four treasures were actually four Pokemon. As these Pokemon were passed from human hand to human hand as treasures, they slowly became tainted by hubris and greed. <gasps> Ghost types! Finally, after coming in contact with the rat rapacity of the king at that time, they awakened as disasters and began to rampage out of control. The king called for renowned Pokemon wielders to defend the country, and, after a fierce battle, these incantations of disasters were quelled. It is said that these four Pokemon were then sealed away somewhere in Paldea. <gasps> Are we gonna go looking for them? What do you think? What would you say the story is just make-believe? No. Very astute of you. I have read many historical disaster reports, personal journal journals and the like. There is much to support the truth of this story. I'll bet it on my bell bottom, she says. If I am able to prove the story's veracity myself, I would be sure to let you know. Ms. Rayford's hips are insane. Look at that. Jesus, body. Ass! Oh, bitch. Like, the bell bottoms really make the hips stand out. Why am I so short? Why can't I be this age? There's fucking 40 year olds in this school. Why can't I look like that? Why can't my ass look that good in the video game? Hmm. Oh, why, hello there, young Juliana. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought and didn't notice you approach. I feel I must again apologize for what transpired in the schoolyard. Did not bother me. That is very magnanimous of you. The woman who showed up is a dragon tamer, a relative of mine, I might add. You see, I come from a very long line of trainers who specialize in dragon-type Pokemon. Oh, these people. There was a child in our family who was expected to stand at its head and lead it to greatness. But the young lad, rebellious little fellow that he was, ran away from home one day. Was that you? He made quite the show of it, too, swearing he'd make a living with music. A lot happened since then. And now he's the art teacher and the Elite Four member before you. After I so rudely took my leave during our last conversations, my dear relative encouraged me. To give up teaching and return home at last. I've been told that the current leader of my family, that is to say my father, is in poor health. How old are you? Oh, but I do apologize. Perhaps I am not cut out for being for teaching after all. What sort of teacher... Dog. Grumbles on and on about uh, his own student. I don't want you to quit. You're pretty dope. But you're the only class that I'm remotely interested in that isn't Saguaro's. Uh, my dear Juliana, you have no idea how much those words mean to me. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Oh, she's in here! Juliana, you scared me! Are you cooking something, Mom? Oh no, I'm not here for any food related- anything food related at all. I was just talking around- walking around the entrance hall. And I felt that intense gaze I told you about before. So I quickly ducked into the cafeteria here. Our cafeteria has only one entrance, so I thought they might be able to discover the identity of the person watching me if they followed me in here. Ah, someone's come in just now. Huh? That's weird. I thought I saw her come in here. I guess I won't be able to ask my question today either. That girl, I feel like I've seen her several times before. She seems to be a student here, but I get the feeling that her question is not about her studies. Next time I see her, maybe I'll start up a conversation myself. It would have been a little bit scary being here on my own. I'm glad you were here with me. I am literally four feet tall, my god. How am I gonna be helpful if I'm small? 
and lanky, and I'm not allowed to bust my Pokemon out inside. Yeah. Oh, the the most underwhelming Pokemon evolution right there is that stupid Pommy. What's your evolution? It stood up, Mama. Oh, my dear Juliana. Thanks to your advice from before, Pommy is well. Just see for yourself. It's cute. Is it feeling better? Hmm, yes, it is feeling better, but this particular Pommy might just be a bit, uh, meek, I suppose. I had Nurse Miriam take a look as well, and she says that there's nothing wrong with it health-wise. So I shouldn't have any injuries, ailments, or the like. Even so, it never uttered so much as a cry, which is odd. That part has even Mr. Jack here stomped. Sorry that I couldn't be of any help. Nothing can tip off. Don't worry about it. I have some more information now thanks to the Academy security cameras, though. It seems Pommy was attacked by a wild Pokemon and fled here to the Academy grounds. Uh, maybe it's still in a bit of shock from that experience and can't bring itself to speak yet. They don't speak their animals. Yep. If that's the case, there is absolutely no problem with keeping quiet. Pas de problème. Ignore. Ignore the problem. I like the way this man thinks. We can just attend her. Wait, that is, until it feels like talking. That's all we can do, really. Even if you speak all sorts of languages, there is no guarantee that you can understand what's going on in someone's heart. You failed me because I didn't know what your fucking Pikachu was saying, you dipstick. You can't be like, oh, it's okay if I don't know what it's saying or understand it. I know it's hard. Asshole. Bitch, you failed me because I didn't know what your Pokemon Pikachu was saying. Have no fear, I won't give up. No, I'll keep on trying until we figure each other out. Of course I'm holding a grudge. Hey, my favorite mate, big man! Ah, Miss Juliana. Hello, Strong. There is something I, that I would very much like to ask for your help with. What? Well, you see, I do not want anyone to overhear this. But I hear rumors of incredibly sweet condiments that exist somewhere in Paldea region. Absolutely must experience ambrosial sweetness for myself. Ask Arvin. You are only one who knows my insatiable tweet, tweet, tooth, sweet tooth. Thus, I have no one else I can turn to. Please, everyone else thinks I like to deep throat peppers. I cannot go looking for this condiment myself lest I destroy the image that students have of me. I will repay for your troubles, of course. Give it some thought if it piques your interest. In meantime, I will gather what information I can about this incredibly sweet condiment. I will share what I find with you as soon as I have more detailed information. Yay! I do believe I'm done. Alright. Let's go fight some gyms, dipshits! I left- I literally just did not finish my gym test. I don't think I could ever do raids because uh, at least one person would yell at me for being incompetent. You're gonna need to do several five-star raids to find what Saguaro wants. No! Oh, before I go there, by the way, uh, where is it? Like, I need to go evolve my Charcadet. I finally got my bell pieces, I think. Oh, hello there, child! I am collector of curiosities and great level of, bro of bronzo. I have an auspicious curio to offer if you'll trade me ten bronzer fragments for it. Sure. Very good. I feel... All right, give me, give me, give me. Doesn't Sepa Pico sound more like a Mexican town name, though? It does. Now you may evolve the fire bean. Look at it! Look at my little Mega Man dipshit. Hey! Oh, nice! Fire Psychic! Armor Armorage involved with the use of a set of armor that belonged to a distinguished warrior. This Pokemon is incredibly loyal. I like the purple one better. So, if I recall correctly, Dark and Psychic does pretty well against Go- No. No. Against Ghost? Um, Ghost does good against Ghost. Fairy does good against Ghost. No. Ghost Dark. Oh. Dark and Ghost Beast Ghost. Yep. I will take the cat. My croc is a ghost type too. It's fire ghost though. Where are you taking him? New Espion, I love you, but no. I'm not good for this gym. Wave would be good if I evolved him at all, ever. I've always wondered why ghost is weak against itself. I don't know why. 
Can any of you Pokemon nerds tell me why? Because only a ghost can hit a ghost, yeah. Ghosts and normal uh, cancel each other out, right? Like six months worth of- Hi, Moist Critical. Yo, trainer, you're the one performing the opening act today. My name is MC Sledge. This is the stage right here. Here's the deal. We're gonna have you do some double battles. That's why- That's where you have two Pokemon fight on each side. Oh, no. That will let you sledge up double opponents and get the audience twice as excited. The venue will be so hot, it'll make on the, non the Montenevera snow. No. Once you get the audience worked up and ready to go, that'll be the cue for our leader to take uh, the stage. That's how you pass the gym test, yo. Your opening act begins as soon as you get up on stage. No backing down until you win three times in a row, so make sure you're ready. You got you got on the deets for the opening act in our gym test. Ready to sledge up? Let's sledge him up. Sure, beach. Finally, a gym test where we can battle. I know. Are those gravestones? What's up, Montenevera? Today's opening act will be three back-to-back -back double battles by our challenger here, Juliana. This is harder than the actual gym. And the first of their three opponents will be a young performer who makes it look like a breeze. Un morro. The one, the only, Taz. Double battles, that means plus one, right? Can you do that math? Is that your kid uh, time? Ghost! Look how big my fucking goblin is. Oh, fuck. That's such a cute Pokemon, though! Fuck your dog, that looks like a mop with a candle. Mean! What?! One plus one is two, right? Right? Why'd you say that to the ghost dog? Because I don't like it. Rude! What?! I don't like it! I'm allowed to not like a design! I'm not saying it's, uh, it's bad, I'm just saying it's not my cup of tea. The Montenevera stage is all the latest tech. The more excited the audience gets, the more the stage will light up. Keep on sledging, you got this! Our challenger's next opponent will be a musician with a bit of a unique style. It's Lonnie! Country! Strong compliments week, the harmony of two Pokemon battling in unison. I like this buff lady. Oh, Hunter Beach. Haha! Umbreon is fine! Atta boy! What a trooper! Oh, tit. Oh! Am I still cursed? Yes, but it won't matter. Curse persists after death. Oh, fuck. Woo! That wasn't harmony, it was a cacophony. It was not my fault, you suck. Oh, shit! That's a very small audience, Pokemon. Your opening charge to turn the cheering and the stage lighting up to 11! What a surprise from our new challenger! Who would have thought they'd sledge it up this much? It must be impossible to beat this gym test. Normally. Next is your last opponent, that is none other than... ME! Moist Critical! He just, ran, he just runs on. Hold on, dramatic entrance. Jojo pose. Being an MC isn't my only forte, I can battle too. I'll sledge you up real good in a double battle! I like that he has arm hair. Kinky, you know that if there were more models, the game would melt under the pressure. True. My switch would explode. I love that balloon! Fuck your balloon. Isn't that the kidnapper Pokemon? Yeah. Mm. 
Oh shit! I beat Moist Critical. Dog, get off. It was you who sledged me up. But at least get to heal before the actual, like, you know, gym leader or nah. Oh, I love that stage. I want that stage. The audience's excitement has reached a fever pitch. Whoa, awesome. That was a great battle. And I'm still in yee yee ass shorts. How lucky. That was a rare sight. Thank you, Juliana. Congratulations, you passed the gym test. Give a round of applause, everybody. Well, no wonder most people uh, give up one gym prior to this one. This one, this for someone that doesn't know what they're doing or isn't the plot armor MC would not go well. I feel a scary good sense of unity from the crowd. Perfecto, we're ready to go to the main event. Come on, everybody, say it with me. This hey, is all what you've been waiting more. for. Give it up for the MC of rest in peace, Rhyme. Yeah, Toby Fox made some of some of the music for this game. Helped make. Oh, bitch. You're my math teacher. What's all this noise I'm hearing? Bitch! This crowd's so loud it could wake the dead up. Let me tell you what I want to hear. Y'all feeling good, bitch? Yeah, we're feeling good. Rhyme, 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 rhyme. That's a hand. Thanks for the killer opener, baby! Now let's get this started for real, ya fetus! It's the math teacher's sister. Congrats on the gym test. That was sick, yo. Thanks. Give us a minute for some rhyme time, you feel? Go ahead and tell the lobby staff where you pass. Give them some good breathing while I tell them. Ah! No biting. No biting. What are these noises? That's my that's my French bulldog at the microphone. Cease! Ah, ah! Question about French bulldogs. Can they eat coffee gum? You should never give a dog coffee, Wave. No. Was that a JoJo reference? Wait, maybe. Okay, that probably means Iggy and JoJo is fed coffee gum so he can be souped up and beat the stand users. The dog has a stand, right? Right? Hey, Wave! Put up a picture of the dog with a stand and then just put everybody that does his face on it. Do it. Do it. Yo, yo! Yeah? It sounds like there might be a rap battle going on over at the stage. I don't want to do that. Oh, I'm not gonna- no. Things I do for the bit. This is my time and this is my day. You're not gonna stand in my way, Esarritmico. Listen up, Rhyme. Your reign ends here. You're gonna get rung up by this pro cashier! Boom! This is horribly trendy. Pro cashier? Well, I'm about to check out. Must have got your rhymes up on deep discount, bitch. Please, you think you can step up my game? Fool, I got the rhyme right there in my name. I'm a specter from which there's no protector. Victory unto me will render when the crowd sees you a mere pretender. Bitch, bitch. You want to end my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming. Buy a book of rhymes, kids, and start reading. Your name's Burple, deep shit. The things I do for your stupid fucking face. I'm done. You want my rhymes only whip, but I'll be back maybe after my next shift. Hold up, where are you going? That's all you got. Put Nicki Minaj in this game. After my next shift, seriously? Bars over jokes, come on! That was over way too fast. It gets boring wearing the crown if no one makes me fight to keep it. Hmm? Hello. I don't, uh, I can't rap. I am a dipshit, four foot tall white child, but. Hey, my opener's back. You here for a rap battle or a gym battle? Gym, mom, gym. No, no gym. No, no rap battle chat, no. Jim, do it, fine, no. Ah, you got jokes, we don't know why you're really here. God damn, okay, good. You were captivated by that show I put on, huh? Rap, what's in my soul, baby? Weaving words into a symphony of poetry. Don't try it with me, you won't last one round. I'm like Sableye, my mean look will lock you down like that. You feel me? Yes. Ah, well, let's get to it, you're a Pokemon trainer. Battle me, show me who you are, dipshit. I'm just expecting like the ha 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 Nicki Minaj laugh that she does sometimes in those music videos. Wait, put, play the clip. My music's not all that tops the charts. My skills with ghost types are the best around. Lest you forget it, name's Rhyme and I'm known as the MC of Rest in Peace. What kind of laugh? You know, the one that Nicki Minaj did like at the end of the Anaconda video. It's very um distinct. I can't do it. Oh, I love her. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here we go, BB! We don't mess around in Montanevera. On my stage, we double battle. Don't let us scare ya. You know, I wasn't expecting Mimikyu to be a ghost type initially, but it makes sense. Show us a Muslim battle rhyme on you two, student kid. My name is Juliana. Look at her. Oh no! Lily, you broke its neck! I snap its spine, baby! Nice, you totally know that Pokemon's weakness without batting an eye. Is that the thing that you guys were talking about? Ah, fuck. I love the ghost Pokemon's designs, okay? If I didn't have an all fairy team, I'd have an all ghost team. to catch that stupid dog after all. The evolution looks dope. Oh, so now you like it. It's badass! I mean, I never shit talk it. I just said I didn't like it. Biru, biru. Kick back, relax, and enjoy this last track. Turn it up the grave for a grave rattling good time. Oh, tits. Oh my god, they were under there! That's what those were. Oh, okay, that's kind of cute, I guess. That's kind of wholesome. When I'm on the make, even the dead rise up. DJ G Rave over there, I'm sh sure feeling it. That's your Pokemon. He's doing his best. That's as much rap battle as I can give you, Ryan. Imagine Juliana doing that obnoxiously in the middle of the battle. Ryan is just like, kiss child. You're really killing it, Ryan. Do I have to like, I can't terrestrialize my stupid uh, Umbreon, it's normal. Ryan will tell a child to shut the fuck up. I like the way Ryan thinks. Wait, you can. No. I can terrestrialize uh, the bird be gone, though. How do I change the Terra types? Fuck it up, Swarovski Goblin! She looks beautiful. My bird be gone is still kicking, bitch! You need 50 crystals from the terror race. Fuck. Oh, uh, okay, okay. It is awful. Oh, she just fucking... Giving up the ghost is not really my style. I let you have this one, though, baby. I don't, uh, well done, fetus! Ha! Ah, great battle. Chilling and thrilling. You got spirit, kid. You earned my gym badge, all right. How about a VIP pass for my next show, too? 
A huevo! I'm taking a screenshot. A huevo! You can spam the Delhi Bird raid for tons of shards. JC coming in with the save. Thank you, because I want my EV team to have their respective Terras. With six gym badges, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon up to level 50, and they'll listen to you. To what you have to say, too. I'm feeling so good that I think I'm gonna let you have this. Oh, dope, thank you. It ended, though. Oh, no, well, they'll find me an easy one. JC, fix it! Too bad it's over. Make sure way back to my stage sometime. Maybe next time we rap battle instead. Who knows? No. JC, fix it! I'm sure you'll have some scary good adventures ahead. I'll be cheering for you. Later! Fix it. I'm in vacation still. I just want to go kick back in a hotel for like a week and do nothing. Greetings once more, Juliana. Hi, Hassel. I was watching your battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say... I thought it was simply excellent. Full marks, gold star, extra credit please, even. A++. Hardly had you sent out Umbreon before you launched into your strategy. That unrelenting offensive, flurry of attacks, an efficient way to corner the opponent. An awfully artfully trained Pokemon, such a vibrant palette of moves. I I just spam the ones that hit things, Hassel. I I I, I don't use a I didn't know what the special ones were for like what they did until today. I just I just I spam the ones that hit things. I do beg your pardon. I didn't mean to let my emotions run amok like that. Ahem. In summary, I simply- What if he has, like, dad cough? Like, ha <laughs> ha! In summary, I wanted to say that you seem to have gotten even stronger. I must admit, I'm eager for you to gather all the gym badges. As a member of the Elite Four, I'll wait the day you come face me with great anticipation. He definitely has a dad cough. Oh, but one thing, don't let your studies fall out by the wayside. Be sure to come to the Academy now and then. I do, though! Juliana's bumble-fucking her way into a championship. Hell yeah, beach. I don't need vigor, I'll just dodge. 